Hey everyone, Doug here with another quick tip. Uh, when people work on jewelry, especially silver, uh, they always deal with fire stain and fire scale. One of the ways that you can get around that is to, uh, what I use is a mixture of denatured alcohol and powdered boric acid. It's got to be powdered. So I take about an ounce or so of denatured alcohol and a tablespoon of powdered boric acid, mix it together. Some of that will dissolve into the alcohol. And I take a piece and I just mix it up in there and I will set it on there. Now, I want to show you, some people will take their torch and they'll light that and they'll burn it off. Burn it off so that they can quickly get to work. What I like to do Take the piece, dip it in there, and let it evaporate. And the reason why is because when you burn off the alcohol, you're actually burning off some of that powdered boric acid. And that powdered boric acid is like a barrier. It's a very thin layer all the way around and it protects it from oxygen. And oxygen is what creates your, your fire scale and your fire stain. Well, when you burn it off, you burn off a lot of that protectant. If you let it evaporate, it'll actually have a thicker coating and a thicker protectant, and it'll work better. You can see here the difference in the two, and it's the exact same ring I took and dipped it the same way. The only difference is one of them is burned off, the other one evaporated. And you can see the one on the right has a little bit more of a white color because it's a thicker layer of that protective barrier of the powdered boric acid. So, so just keep that in mind when you are um, protecting your, your pieces. Uh, if you burn it off, you're burning off a lot of that protective layer. And um, if you have the time, it only takes one or two minutes to let that alcohol evaporate. And you'll have better results and more protection from your soldering. Thanks for stopping by. JewelryMonk.com for more jewelry goodness. See you later.